this is a joint statement. We deeply regret Sudan's refusal to accept the recommendation to immediately open civic space and defend freedom of expression and assembly. We urge Sudan to immediately end the targeting of women defenders and protesters and to protect freedom of assembly and expression under all circumstances. We welcome that Sudan accepted to accelerate the formation of the Commission for Women and Gender Equality and the Commission for Legal Reform. However, we regret that Sudan did not accept to ratify without reservation CEDAW and its optional protocol. We welcome that Sudan accepted to ratify the Convention on Migrant workers and urge it to ratify CEDAW and all the international and regional covenants that protect women's rights. We welcome that Sudan accepted to repeal articles in the Personal Status Act, but regret that it rejected to repeal provisions regarding male guardianship and wife obedience. We urge Sudan to prioritize repealing these provisions and to raise the age of marriage for girls to 18 years old. We welcome that Sudan accepted to approve and implement the proposed Violence Against Women law and urge it to prioritize reforming, changing, or repealing all laws and policies that legalize any form of violence or discrimination against women, including security laws, RSF laws, and the Muslims' personal law. We welcome that Sudan accepted to ensure consultations with women's rights groups and to include a gender perspective throughout the implementation of the Juba Peace Agreement and to ensure the implementation of Security Resolution 1325. We urge Sudan to accelerate the reform of the military and security forces and to ensure the civilian control over them. We welcome that Sudan accepted several recommendations on ensuring access to justice, including for survivors of sexual and gender-based violence. We urge Sudan to ensure that they receive the protection that they need and to end impunity for military, militias, and law enforcement. We also urge Sudan to allow international and regional human rights mechanisms to independently investigate the atrocities committed against protesters, especially women and girls, for, from 13 December 2018. Thank you.